the quietness the freedom and the unconventionality of village life was very much to the mother's liking and she often spent there long periods sometimes extending over a year but ill health arising from the strain of household work and the malarial tendencies of rural bengal as also the necessity of expert medical consultation for radu's frequent ailments often forced her to migrate to calcutta and spend long periods at the udbodhan office the city residence built for her by swami shardanand in calcutta her movements were considerably restricted but she was free from financial responsibilities and the burden of domestic duties swami shardanand shouldered the former and golapma the latter nonetheless her days were busily occupied with the service of the master and the reception of devotees on all days and at all times she was accessible to women devotees and there was a constant stream of them some seeking help and inspiration in spiritual life others with prayers for attainment of worldly goods and still others for confessions and consolations to relieve their distressed hearts men devotees too were admitted but only at particular times of the day and they probably had not the same freedom of association with the mother in calcutta as in her village home that was why many of the intimate men devotees flocked in large numbers to jairambati in spite of the difficulties of journey and stay